Hi everyone, welcome to Hedy Dubai Academy YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate you plasmid DNA isolation. So plasmid isolation also known as plasmid DNA extraction is a common technique in molecular biology and genetics used to isolate and purify plasmid from bacterial cells. Plasmids are small circular piece of DNA that exist independently of the chromosomal DNA in bacteria cell. Isolating plasmid DNA is essential for various applications in molecular biology such as cloning gene, gene expression studies and genetic engineering. So now we will go for plasmid DNA isolation. For plasmid DNA isolation we need a bacterial culture, an overnight bacterial culture and these are the instruments and the reagents and the chemicals required for the plasmid DNA isolation. First, we will take 1 ml of culture. We will centrifuge it in maximum speed for 1 minute. Now our one minute of centrifuge is complete. So after centrifugation, it will look like this. So this is our supernatant and this is our pellet. So we will discard completely the supernatant. So now we will add cell lysis buffer in this pellet. The cell lysis buffer contains trees, EDTA and RNSA. For the complete protocol, please refer to the description box below the video. We will completely mix it by pipetting. We will incubate it at room temperature for 5 minutes. Now we will add alkaline denaturation solution which contain sodium hydroxide and SDS. Now we will add neutralization buffer. Neutralization buffer contain acetic acid or potassium acetate to bring the pH back to neutral. This helps prevent the further DNA denaturation. Now we mix it by pipetting. Now we will centrifuge the mixture to separate the precipitated plasmid DNA from the rest of the solution. After centrifugation, we will collect the supernatant. After the collection of supernatant, we will go for the precipitation step. In precipitation step, we usually use isopropanol ethanol to the solution. This causes the plasmid DNA to precipitate out of the solution, while other cellular components remain in the liquid phase. So now we will add isopropanol. We just invert the tube for mixing.
Next step is to centrifuge it in 12,000 RPM for one minute. After centrifugation, we'll slowly remove the supernatant completely and our plasmid is also in the lower part. So we'll slowly discard the supernatant. Now we'll go for washing step. In washing step, we usually use 70% of ethanol to remove any residual contamination is there. Now we centrifuge it in 12,000 RPM for one minute. After centrifugation, we will discard the supernatant. Do not disturb the pellet. We slowly discard the supernatant. And allow the pellet to dry briefly to remove any ethanol is there. So after complete dry, we'll go for the resuspension step. Resuspend the purified plasmid pellet in a suitable buffer such as tree CDTA to store it in general downstream applications. So now we'll add T buffer. So now our plasmid DNA is ready. Thank you for watching HDT Bio Academy. Do like, share and subscribe our HDT Bio Academy YouTube channel for more informative videos. Thank you.